Oh, jeez. I can barely see you all. Man, this fog is thick. Alright. First stop. <clears throat> is actually the Arsade family household. Oh, hello. Mixed grill. Alright, and with that, we only have one more recipe to go before we have every single one of them. Which means I'm going to get to work on making all of the different uh, foods for the people on the ship. Alright. Alright, so we're in the brace, uh, the guild branch. Our apologies for the delay in coming, Klaus. It's good to see you again, too, Miles. Well, if it isn't Class 7, thank you very much for coming, my lady. I assume you've come regarding the request we sent to the Courageous? That's right. It made mention of the problems we face in the Grand becoming worse of late. Would you mind elaborating, Klaus? Certainly. As you're aware, a number of strange occurrences have happened in the Gram since the war began. The fog covering the town has become thick. Thicker. Strange monsters have appeared on the highways, among other things. We were up against that kind of stuff when we came back here to find Laura and Emma a few weeks ago, so yeah. But didn't we... <clears throat> but didn't we solve the worst of it? The cryptids in the castle were the ones responsible. We were able to return things to normal by defeating them, or so I thought. Oh, you certainly helped. Sadly, even without those cryptids accelerating the process, things here have been gradually worsening. <clears throat> the monsters have become more dangerous than ever. We've even heard reports of people hearing eerie laughter and seeing ghosts. G ghosts? Huh, <laughs> forgive me if I find that slightly hard to believe. That said, the greatest concern of all is this thick fog. It's become thicker and thicker over the weeks, to the point where it's stopping the townsfolk from doing basic daily tasks. That's not good. Visibility is pretty poor outside. We knew something had to be done, so we started looking into ways to return things to normal. And then, the other night, something else strange happened. Something else? We heard the sound of a bell ringing, from Lohengrin Castle, no less. Again? That sounds just like what happened during our field study. How could this be? So once again, Lohengrin Castle is the center of the stage. Strange happenings for our fair Legram. I only wish it weren't the case. And worse still, we have no one local free enough to investigate the matter. So as Klaus says, ordinarily we'd have some bracers take care of it. But we just don't have enough of them to go around. Even Toval is occupied in Western Erebonia, as you know. And that's where you come in, Class 7. With two solved mysteries related to the castle under your belt, you're most likely the perfect ones to take care of the job. I see. Understandable, I suppose. Still, I fear this will be no easy task. There is no... There is bound to be danger lurking within. Even with that in mind, could we trouble you to accept our request? No problem. Please, leave this to us. My father is the lord of this region. I would be remiss to ignore its people's cries for help. I will do all I can to help fathers in father's absence. <laughs> Had a feeling you would say that. I am most grateful for your help. I'll see to preparing a boat for you to take there at once. Please come to the wharf as soon as you're ready to depart. We right there, Klaus. Thank you. With all the strange happenings there, I think it'd be best if Celine and I were part of the team. <sighs> I guess so. You know, I was kind of hoping Million would have a funnier reaction than that. Oh well. All right, uh, to the wharf. Ma 
my turn. Here I go. Right. My turn. Hello. Are you ready to make your way to the castle then? Uh, you won't be able to return to the Grim until your work there is complete. Let me make a quick save. I gotta be careful now. I'm in the hundreds. This game doesn't want to seem to let me have more than 200 save files. Despite the extra task of battling poor visibility due to the fog, Laura graciously accepted the role of operating the boat. Though Laura was a local of Legram, they mainly relied on Emma sensing its mana to guide them in the correct direction. Well, we've arrived. This is my third time coming here now. Oh my! Is it glowing again? Nope. Fog's really thick this time, too. Yeah, even more so than it was back in town. The atmosphere here is anything but usual, at the very least. I can sense a vastly greater amount of mana from here compared to last time. It's as though this area is on the verge of becoming a world of its own. There's no question that the castle source, uh, castle's the source behind what's happening over in the Graham. There's no telling what could happen if we leave things as they are. Then it's up to us to go inside and investigate. You guys ready? Nope, but uh, let's do it anyway. You're up, you're up front, Milliam. It's time to face your fears. Oh boy. Uh, this is getting tedious. Can't call my bike or anything. Lame. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, higher elements. This isn't good. Ah, <sighs> well, we can't uh, say that we didn't expect this at least. Uh, another G word? Bah, more of those fiends from our field study here, I see. Yeah, they do. One around every corner by the looks of it. I can feel the presence of the higher elements, too. Why, well, I'd expect that with them here. My guess is the source of all this mana would be in the underground area of the castle. Didn't we go through uh, the left wing of the building last time? There was this large sealed door at the end of the spiral staircase, I think. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's get going, but be careful. I'm sure uh, the cause of all this is somewhere in here. Let me fight. Alright, we got our little ghosties fight. here. Shadow Spirit. Second form. Second form. Damn. My turn. Radiant Blade. Blade of Light. Go. Right I think it's time I only hit two of them. Here I go. Oh, because I think the third one was out of range. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Hearing spirit that lacks a solid body gives those who hear it nightmares, causing them to lose their sanity. My turn. Second four. Damn. Now's our chance. An opening. Smack. Ah! 
Nice try. Leave this. We should keep going. Oh, shoot. Oh, I can hit multiple people. Oh, okay. Emma. Sorry. I'll take it from here. If you will, resurrect. Blessing of the moon. You have my faith. Ooh, I want to see uses of new S craft. Hey, oh, yeah, he summons a horse. Dead. What a waste of our time. Let's go. We're in charging station. Thank God. Yes. Hi, more of these stupid swords. Oh, this music's back. I'll be honest, I'm not too fond of the, like, it's not bad, I'm not, just, I don't like slow songs that much. Alright, well. What do we got here? Bunch of monsters that need to be delayed. And delay more. First thumb. I think we left a suit of armor uh, alone. Trying to join the level 100 club. Alright, what's in here? EP charge 4. Well, let's try to progress elsewhere. If that's where we need to go. Oh, hello. Shoot. Well, we'll find out uh, what they were talking about later. Gale. Gale. I missed two of them. What? Now's our chance. I'll back you up. Right out. Megaton press. Let me give me a hand. Down you come. Here we go. They've been delayed. My turn. Now they will be delayed Ready again. What we got here? I've got it. A dark canine, a nocturnal canine monster that made its way into the castle. Aggressive contains venom in its claws. Here I go. Second form. Gale. Won't miss that time. Now. I'll back you up. How dare you! Uh, yeah, Let just hit. Down you come. Yeah, you didn't stand a chance. Oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? There's a treasure chest here. 
Oh, well, guess we're finding now. Oh, hey. My turn. Gale extra. Second form. Gale. Now. Take that. Leave this to me. Fine. Blade of light. Go. Now's our chance. Oh, let's just get an analyze. Purgatorio tank that mows down sinners in its wake. Moves uh, ceaselessly, firing its cannon with reckless abandon. Oh, no. No, you don't. Thank you guys. Now for them all to die. You still have a lot of training to do. I did it. The Chakravarti gem. Another battle scope. Weird. We could open this door last time, but it's sealed shut now. Fortunately, we don't need to go this way. The mana I can sense is at the end of the spiral staircase in the left wing. Let's turn back then. Eh. But I want to explore and get treasure. Can't really see if there's a chest over there. Oh, hey. There's a treasure chest close by. Right in front of us, Jesus. Come on. Pay attention. Some more U materials. Well, that effort went to waste. Uh, there we go. First revive, then heal. While you're at it. Alright, we're good. Sabbath and an event. Is this uh, is this area the source of the mana you've been sensing, Emma? Yes, I'm sure of it. I could feel it more and more strongly as we walked down the stairs. I can't see an orb like the one we found during our field study, though. Was that a bell chiming? Get ready for a fight. The spiritual force I feel now is unbelievable. Oh, would you look at that? It's death. It's monstrous. No way. Didn't we fight this thing already? Bah. This thing again? It looks like the fields, uh, the fiend we fought during our field study. It's that Nosferatu. It's revived and become even more powerful than before. This has to be because of the disturbances in this area's spirit veins. I'm sure of it. So then, this is the culprit behind the thick fog ailing the gram, which means there is but one thing for us to do. 
exercise it. A worthy adversary. Let's do it. Here I go. All right. Uh Let us delay it. And it's resistant. Good. Can I mute you? Nobody can crit you. <clears throat> Summon some friends. Alright. If I remember right. I believe he is weak to... Yep, Mirage. Ow. Yes, sir. Don't whack me with your stick. Can get them. Let's go, burst. Now <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Well, I got rid of your friends. You leave her alone. Leave this to me. Shatter. Now's our chance. Oh, I stunned it. Gotcha. Or sealed it, rather. Let's move. I can call Valimar. I almost... You know what? I'm not going to be using my EP for anything else. Here you go, Spooky. How about you take this up with my Divine Knight? There we go. Nice little chunk of health gone. Garden of Annihilation. I was going to say. Uh, let's see. Come on. Oh, he's pretty far away. You know, I wasn't expecting Valimar to actually kick this thing's ass as good as it does. I was thinking that it was just gonna... Like, help a little bit, but not this much. Of course. Oh, is it not dead? Well, let's fix that. I ain't got time for your bullshit, alright? We should keep going. Alright, more people part of the over hundred club. Great. <laughs> I've only I'm so glad. I'm awesome. <laughs> a matter of course. Arc blade. By six enemies with a magical slash. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so glad. Blessed arrow two. Thanks. And stay gone. He was certainly dramatic. Oh, now what? Oh, God, is this music? No, I don't want to go. Bring, bring now to bear thy will. If thou hast 
Uh, ought to... Can't read that. Alright, go away, music. I don't like you. What was that light? I don't know, but no one here appears to be any worse for wear because of it. It feels as though we went against it, but it's hard to be sure. The spiritual force it was exerting has completely vanished, and with it, the spirit veins seem to be returning to normal. Whew. I feared the worst for a moment, but it looks like all's well that ends well. This should hopefully mark the end of the, all the strange happenings in the gram. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without everyone here, either. Thank you. <sighs> Can we stop uh, with the ghosts? Reen, is something wrong? You've been totally silent. Did you get in injured? Oh no, it's nothing, honestly. Let's get back to the gram and report to Klaus and Miles. Of course. Why are you hiding, Irene? Just tell them what you saw. This is like, oh hey, something happened. Mystery solved. Class 7 stepped aboard the Orbal boat they used to travel to the castle and made their way back to Legram. On the way, they could see the thick fog hovering over the lake weakening before their very eyes. By the time they stepped off the boat once again, the air had largely returned to what they remembered uh, fondly from their field study. <clears throat> I cannot thank you enough for all you've done. I must say, my lady, you've done an admirable job fulfilling Lord Arsade's duties in his absence. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do so without the aid of my classmates, however. The fog that was hanging over the town just disappeared as if it were never there. Still, I'm curious what caused that Nosferatu you mentioned to appear now of all times. You've already defeated it, uh, one before, didn't you? So why now? I wish I could say for sure, but I have uh, heard that it's the form of an ancient uh, tribe eventually took after being liberated from the shackles of life. In the sense that they become immortal? I don't know much about them myself. Most likely, the souls of the ones of the one was drawn towards the castle for some reason, and then the chaos in Erebonia caused it to reawaken. That means we have no guarantee that it won't do exactly the same thing again. How bizarre! Please don't revive again, please. All that means is we'll have to be that mu much more cautious then. And the townsfolk of Legram will have. To be as well. I'm certain. I'll be certain to pass the message along. Pardon me, Reen, but is something bothering you? You've been oddly quiet ever since we left the castle. Are you sure you aren't hurt? No, I'm fine. Just lost in thought, that's all. I can't get the door that I saw out of my head. But I'm really going to have to try and focus. We've got bigger things to worry about right now. Not sure I buy that, but if you insist. Again, you have my deepest thanks for your assistance. It could hardly compare to your efforts, but I would like for you to accept this as a reward. Yokai Jam. Why, thank you, Klaus. If anything else happens here, don't hesitate to call us. I'll be sure to do so. Take care. Ah, we're done. With that, all right, we're getting back on the courageous, folks. Next, our next destination is Brayhard. Go. All right, first off, going to the Galleria, and want to talk to you, 
Chapter 13 in the finale. Here we go. Then next up the Noble District. We wanna go to house number two. Excuse us. Hmm. Where is the person I am looking for? In there. Hello. <clears throat> Ring. <laughs> I'm glad we got the chance to meet again. Bridget? It's a relief to see you're doing well. Is there any particular reason you're very hard? My father happens to be friends with the people of this household. And I somehow managed to make it here after escaping from Thor's. I've been working for them as a house tutor, a home tutor ever since. Ah, uh, that makes sense. We must, uh, must have missed you the last time we were here. Ha! Huh, kinda weird to see an upper class student working and stuff. It's rare to see such spirit within a lady of nobility. Well, I've heard all about your ex escapades on the Courageous. Not to mention the fact that you arrested Duke Alborea himself. Class 7 really does know how to pull off the impossible. I fear our reputation may be somewhat exaggerated. Hey, if we can, why not make the impossible possible? That aside, I've got a favor to ask. Would you be willing to join us, Bridget? I'm sure we could use your help when we take back Thor's. Hmm. Well, it's probably about time I left... Uh, now that Lord Hancock and Lady Lorna have returned. But unfortunately, I can't join you all just yet. Any reason why? Well, you see, I actually fret fled from Thor's with Alan. Then we got split up along the way. I've been worrying about him nonstop ever since. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? I think I'd just end up being a liability if I join you like this. I see. I doubt that, but I know how you must feel. <clears throat> I guess she wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't know that he's joined us. Shall we bring him over to see her? Yes. You're not uh, going out anytime soon, are you? Stay put. There's someone we'd like you to see. I is it who I think it is? Reen got in contact with Alan and asked him to come over as quickly as possible. Not telling him, right? Bridget! Alan? Is it really you? Yep, in the flesh. I'm sorry, Bridget. I promised I'd protect you, but wound up making you worried instead. Please, don't apologize. I'm sure you were just as worried about me as I was about you. You've been fighting hard ever since we were separated, haven't you? Knowing you're safe is all I ever needed. Thanks, Bridget. I'm glad they finally got re to reunite. <laughs> their time apart hasn't hurt their relationship at all. I guess it's to be expected after they were separated for so long. Thank you so much, everyone. I can finally do what I need to now that I know Alan's safe. Will you be coming with us, Bridget? Indeed. I'm not entirely sure how much use I'll be to you, but I want to do my... Uh, my part in saving Thor's. Then let's help take it back. Together. I swear, I'll never let anything come between us again. Goodness, Alan. Whoa, whoa. Time and a place, Tiger. That's not a promise to make lightly. Make sure you keep it. <laughs> How far does your nightly passion extend, I wonder? It's good to have you both on board. Music. Everyone gathered around and enjoyed the soft sound of Bridget's piano. And once she said her farewells, she and Alan boarded the Courageous. Got another student to join us. 
All right, where to next? Uh, oh, nope, not Station Street, Central, Central Plaza, please. Here to speak to someone. Hello there. <clears throat> You're those students who were involved with Duke Alvarez's arrest, correct? I hope you realize that all of this is due to your meddling. What's that supposed to mean? Could you elaborate for us, perhaps? I'm aware that you're Teresia's, uh, Teresia's father, but is that somehow related? If it concerns my father, feel free to take any complaints up with me. Lord Eusis, apologies, but I simply can't hold my tongue this time. Ever since the Duke's arrest, Teresius uh, vehemently expressed her desire to join your group on the Courageous. I could never allow that, of course, so she's now chosen to run away. D did she really? Might we ask why, why you're so, so opposed? Is such a question necessary when you're aware of her noble lineage? Duke Galbraith's arrest means we must think long and hard on how to proceed from here on. Are you truly of the opinion that I should allow my daughter to flap about with those who seek to oppose the Alliance? This certainly is a tense period for the nobles of Brayahard. Huh, talk about stubborn. Excuse me, sir. I should clarify that our intent isn't to directly oppose the Noble Alliance. Our main goal is just doing what we can to bring an end to the war. Hmph. <laughs> Say what you will. Your actions will bring the wrath of the Noble Alliance upon you no matter your intent. I'm certain Teresia's, uh, Teresia will return soon enough anyway. In the meantime, I don't want any of you getting involved in this, understood? Sorry, but that doesn't seem like a promise we can keep. Should we go search for her? I'm kind of worried, to be honest. She couldn't have gone too far. Maybe we'll find her in town. Yeah, though we'll have to make sure the Baron doesn't find out what we're up to. Screw you, old man. Alright. So now we're heading over here. Because I believe it's down here. Here you are, Teresia. Oh, I wasn't expecting to run into any of you here. I take it my father told you what happened. Huh. I couldn't be more pitiful. Don't say that got all worked up arguing with him, and when he wouldn't give me what I wanted, I stormed off in a huff. Since then, I haven't done a thing but hide out here. I didn't even have the courage to leave town, let alone join you. If only Emily were here. Well, Emily's on the courageous. We could uh, just bring her here. And what are we waiting for? Class 7 went back to the Courageous and to talk to Emily. Once they told her what was going on with Teresia, she ran to her, her so fast it was all they could do to keep up. Emily! I'm not dreaming, am I? <laughs> nope. Been a while, huh? Um, how have you been? You know full well the answer to that. I've been worried sick about you ever since we parted ways. Yeah, same here. Not a day went by where I didn't think about you. So glad you're safe. Emily. Emily and Teresia shared a passionate hug. Oh my. I'm so happy for them. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you so much for bringing Emily back to me. I can finally rest easy now. Even if I won't be able to join you all. Oh, please. Did you really think I'd just up and ditch you? I've heard all about uh, your dad's stance on things. That's the one of the reasons I tagged along, you know. Let's go convince him together. We're going to make you a proud member of the Courageous no matter what. Naturally, we'll be helping. I'm sure he'll come around once he realizes just how many people want your support. 
Truly? Thank you, everyone. Let's go, then. Having made the decision to convince Baron Caroline together, everyone went to the Sorcier. And so the great debate to determine if Theresia could board the courageous began. Upon laying eyes on Emily for the first time, the Baron made no effort to hide his discontent towards her. However, the icy tension slowly began to thaw once it became clear that she shared a true bond with Theresia. In the end... Fine, I give in. I'll allow you to board the Courageous. Father... I have no intention of changing my beliefs as a noble any time soon. However, I'd be a fool not to recognize the bond you've crafted between both of you. Might I request that you take care of Theresia in my stead, Lady Emily? <laughs> it would be my pleasure, right, Theresia? Of course. I'm glad uh, that more or less got resolved with a happy ending. I really can't thank you all enough for this. I doubt I would have been able to convince Father on my own. You guys even jumped in right at the, uh, at the right time during that discussion, too. But yeah, thanks a lot. It's great to know that I'll be able to fight alongside Theresia from now on. Ha, <laughs> come on. This is all you and Theresia. <laughs> it was all thanks to your friendship in the end. Now we just need to find Ferris. Yep, the party doesn't start until the lacrosse club's totally reunited. Alright, if you don't mind, we're going to board the Courageous ahead of you. I'm so happy I can be with you all. Same here. Alright. Alright. Artisan Street is next. Our next stop is here. Oh yeah, one of the students... I believe this is one of the students we left behind. Oh, hey guys. I haven't seen you in a while. Things going well, I guess? Good timing, by the way. There's some uh, something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> You've come to invite me on to the Courageous, right? I was actually going to ask you all about that when you stopped over after the Duke's arrest. <sighs> that makes things easier. Come on, we'll show you the way now. Wait a second. There's something I need to do before that. I want to do something for the people on this street before I leave. You do? You were working at the inn, right? I remember you saying you got al along very well with everyone, too. So what are you planning? Gotta make everyone some sweets or something. I'm thinking about leaving a charm with each of the stories on the street. The stores, not stories. That's why I came here, in fact. Would you mind waiting until I'm done? We might actually be able to help her out with that. Is there any way we could help? We'll be able to wrap this up much quicker if we split the work up. We'd be glad. We'd be glad to help. You sure? Awesome. Can I ask you to go collect one of the materials I need? It's called a Dryad's Tear. Turner recommended I use it. Oh. Oh, no. It's a material we were asked to search for during our field study here. It's a semi-precious stone made from tree sap. Huh. That makes things easier, I guess. Why did Reen go, oh no? Did I misread that? My eyes are a little, little out of it today, but... You can get them from the Southern Croydon Highway at this time of year. Would you be able to get uh, four of them for me? Sure. No problem. This might be our chance to make up for what happened last time. Okay, let's head out. I swear, if something like that happens again. Alright, to South Kreutzen Highway. Let's see. There's one, there's two, there's three, and where's four? There's four. Shall we? Right. Alright, so the first one's not until that little loop up to the right. There's our first one. 
Brown one. Yes. This is definitely a dryad's tear. Still, one isn't going to be enough. Let's keep searching for more. Shall we? Alright, one there, one there, and one there. Right. I'm just so paranoid that I'm gonna miss it. Shall you know what? Got this. That's two. Man, it, it's really pretty. It still baffles how the Count uh, wanted to eat something like this. Well, if it's yummy as it is pretty... Don't even think about it. Shall we? Right. Ah. I'll get the hang of this. There's number three. There's three. Just one more to go. Shall we? I've got this. And this little right here. Follow it up with another right. And there we go. And that makes four. Colette should be happy with these. Let's head back to the jewelers and report. Ah! Why couldn't you just teleport me? Shall we? Oh, that's what I'm editing's for. Future me, edit this out. Please, for the love, for the love of ideas. Here you go, four Dryad's Tears. Four Dryad's Tears. Oh, hey. Bleh. Oh, hey. Did you get enough tears for me? Sure did. Here you go. Reen handed over four Dryad's Tears. Let me see. Yep, perfecto. Thanks a ton. I should be able to make something really nice, uh, some really nice charms with these. Speaking of which, time to get Turner to work his magic. No letting anyone eat them. Having gathered the materials needed, Colette had uh, her charms made. And after leaving uh, one at the jeweler's, she left to uh, she left to hand at the rest. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. There we go. That should be all of them. I'm so glad everyone liked them. I'm not surprised. They're so well made. The jewelers certainly did a fine job. It was uh, worth all the effort in the end. Hmm, kind of wish I had gotten a lick of it after all. None of that, young lady. I'm just glad they ended up in the right hands this time. Thanks a bunch, you guys. I even got a bunch of clothes and accessories as parting gifts. Gonna have to hand some of them out to everyone in the Courageous as thanks for letting me come on board. Are you ready to come with us now, then? Yep, can't wait to hang out with you some more. We'll see you on board, Colette. Alright. Alright, so now... Now it's not a part of the quest, but this is just me wanting to... Uh, get some, uh, s other stuff done. So... Shall we? We're gonna be heading over to... Shit. 
Why can't I turn right? Where am I going? Eh. 